Hey all. Today I'm going to do an unboxing. I don't do many unboxings. Some people reckon they're a waste of time and silly, but I don't mind them. Uh, if you're going to go buy a radio and uh, you're doing some research, I think it's uh, very important to find out exactly what you're getting before you purchase it. Okay, so I bought this radio about uh, three, four weeks ago and uh, came out of China. I meant to get here on the 7th of uh, February. It's now the 28th of uh, December and it was here already. So I just wanted to test out another uh, VHF, UHF uh, dual band radio. And I saw this one on uh, on eBay and I thought, oh yeah, for the price, I think it was about 140 bucks Australian. You can't go wrong. And uh, yeah, so it arrived today. And this is the Ham Geek M10890 dual band radio. But uh, much to my surprise, when I took the wrapping off, it's made by Motorola. Incredible. I don't know if you can see that at all. So that's a bonus already. I had no idea Motorola made these radios. So this covers uh, 136 to 174 and 400 to 480. Obviously, uh, it can do more than just uh, uh, the, the UHF side of the amateur radio band. Uh, if you're so inclined to do that, that's entirely on you. I'm not going to do that. Uh, UHF. CB radio in Australia is, uh, yeah, it's too hard to listen to. Um, so let's have a quick look at what we get inside. So here's the user's manual, uh, which is pretty handy actually. Usually you don't get much much of this at all in regards to use, user's manual. So there's the user's manual and um, obviously some sort of mount clip. Motorola. Have a look at that for the microphone. Uh, absolutely awesome. Look at the mic. It's fairly lightweight. I don't think there's a lot of value in the mic, but I had no idea that Motorola even made this radio. As I said, let's pull it out. Let's have a look. Ah, look at the radio. Look how small it is. Crikey's. That's a small radio, but uh, Good things come in small packages, apparently, guys. That's what they reckon. Well, that's what my missus told me. And uh, let's have a quick look. Wow. That is awesome. What a great, neat-looking radio. And fairly light. What have we got? Uh, Top-mounted speaker, uh, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. Ah, oh, we've got a little fan there. Got the uh, UHF connector. So we'll just put that to one side. What else have we got in here? Uh, got the uh, mount bracket pretty good and inside here uh, what do we got uh, the power lead and oh the mount screw uh, the screws for the uh, the mount bracket and everything like that so that's basically the that's a surprise isn't it um, what I, I didn't even know that Motorola sold or made these radios so if it's Motorola at least it's got a bit of quality to it for a start let's see if I can uh, fire this one up quickly have a look at the screen. Yeah, awesome. Look, I don't expect the screen to be anything, um, you know, game changer or anything like that. But uh, the colour screens are a lot better for us old blokes with old eyes. Um, the resolutions are a lot better, so you can see. So we'll just have a plug it in quickly. Yeah, I, I was going to put this... I've got my little Anytone and I was going to use the Anytone for another application and I thought, well, I know I like the Anytone radio. Like, uh, it's an absolute awesome radio. If you go back and have a look at some of my past videos, you'll see uh, the little Anytone radio. So um, let's just plug it in here. Uh, always, always oh, plug an antenna in. Uh, or I do that every time without fail just in case at least it's going into a dummy load if you accidentally push the ptt which does happen okay we'll just quickly throw this over here geez nice long power lead as well heavy duty too i think this radio is rated at uh 25 watt which is handy uh, we'll just chuck it in here look in there give it a bit of juice uh i assume you do that turn it on I assume am I missing something here oh no here we go oh crockies well look at that 
Oh, what a great little screen. So obviously you've got some presets. Looks like you've got a fan. You can adjust the fan speed as well, which is really handy. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, okay, so we've got down, go down through different bands. Okay, all right. Well, that's pretty handy. Okay, so it's scanning through frequencies and everything like that. I'll, I'll read the instruction manual. Uh, as I said, I'll just chuck the mic in. For all those files, read the instruction manual. That's what most guys don't usually do of anything. Uh, now, I don't know if the microphone as such. I can drop a carrier, obviously. Because uh, I am into a... Ah! Okay. So, I am into a dummy load, so it doesn't make any difference. So we've got the fans obviously working. Look at that. And I think this is like a dual watch radio, uh, but I don't think it can do crossband repeating or anything like that. So I'll follow this one up with another video, but I just thought to give everyone a, a bit of a quick look at the uh, Motorola MT890, 25 watts. Uh, what a great little radio. And as I said, you know, if it's made by Motorola, it's got some quality about it. The screen's really nice, nice and clear. Uh, what I'll do, I'll probably do some testing, put some uh, uh, put some frequencies, in, frequencies into it. I've got just the perfect spot for this in my car. I've got just the perfect spot. This may do the job. The only thing that's going to let annoy me is the top fired speaker. Uh, if it had a rear mounted speaker, that would be great. Um, I'll just quickly go through the instructions and just say if there's anything here that uh, might stand out of the ordinary uh, just go through the normal stuff uh, PTT function um, yeah no, it looks all pretty good uh, CT CSS and yeah it's got all the um, usual suspects when it comes to uh, manuals and rxtx high power low power so obviously it's got two settings for the high power low power i won't bore you guys uh, it just goes through all the different settings what you can do dtmf um yeah no it looks uh looks really good jesus programming input yeah this is all in english how good is that a bloody a decent inst instruction manual with a radio Okay, so what do we got here? Yeah, just a normal. Um, yeah, 455 grams it weighs. Crikey's. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's really good. Wow. What a great little radio. There it is. The Motorola MT890. Um, looking forward to using this guy. Uh, it'd be very interesting to see what the audio, but I really love, look at, look at the, the quality of the, the mic. That's the part that, and you can run it all off the mic. You can do all your different settings and everything like that. Look, you've got all your, all your menus. You can scroll down through the whole lot. Bluetooth. It's got Bluetooth as well. You're kidding. Wow. What a great little radio. Back on there. Uh, yeah, so you've got your different bands, you can, different frequencies. And I think they don't think the keypad lights up, but anyway, well, for what you get, who, who really cares? And uh, what are we doing here? Um, yeah, got full power on this one, crikey's. All right, thank you for watching, 73s. I'm going to do a follow-up video on this one. Uh, what a great little dual-band radio. Catch us on the next one. Cheers, guys.